Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. It is 3.10 in the afternoon here in Boston. It is deeply overcast and very cold outside. My layover is about 21 hours, which sounds nice and long, but I had to sleep a little bit after getting here after the red eye, and then I have to sleep relatively early this evening in preparation for work tomorrow. Uh, so it didn't really leave me a lot of time to go into the city. And Boston's my hometown, so it's not like I'm missing anything unique or anything. So I'm just hanging out in my hotel room. I was just watching some real quality entertainment, Men in Black 3. I don't know why. But um, I figured I'm going to sit down with you guys and talk about 10 items. I think 10 items, roughly 10 items that I have purchased on Amazon that I find have really improved my life, made things easier as a flight attendant. And... Um, all but two of them are very reasonably priced, so if you want to buy these for yourself or give them away as a stocking stuffer or a small little gift or token, it's so nice on the holidays to be able to give your coworkers a little something, um, I think, because, you know, we're all, we're all, it's a tough time during the holidays, and to get a little gift unexpectedly, it's just a little, it's just a real treasure. Um, so, let's get to the list. Ideally, what I'd like to happen here, I don't know what's going to happen because I'm fairly lazy. Um, ideally, I would talk about the product I'm going to suggest um, and then either put a picture up from Amazon or just show you the item that I have here. Um, I'm going to list um, the links, uh, Amazon links in the description box below. Key point, uh, I am an affiliate on Amazon. Now, I, I don't do anything with it. I, I know some people make it like it's, it's a side hustle. I'm just lazy. I don't. The only thing I've ever really shared with you guys has been my lunch bag and something else. Uh, but I have affiliate links. So I these items, if you buy them, I get a teeny tiny little commission on these things. But it all adds up, I guess, like YouTube. Uh, so just a heads up. Uh, I don't want this to be a... This isn't a money grab because I hate most of these Amazon <laughs> Uh, haul videos. Oh my goodness. But these are things I really think are worth your time to look at. All right. So first off, let's, um, I don't need to show you pictures of phone chargers I and, and cables. I have phone chargers everywhere. They're like autumn leaves at my house. They're in every drawer, on every table. I have them in every single bag um, because we, as a flight attendant, I have to charge my device my phone, my watch, and now my earbuds. So I am always charging things. Uh, so I like to have a bunch of extra uh, phone chargers and cables. Now, ideally for me, I love a 10 foot charging cable. I love a 10 foot charging cable. I'm a size queen when it comes to charging cables because that 10 foot long cable allows me to plug my phone in in the wall, the wall unit, and then uh, just kind of lounge back in bed and not have to be tethered to the side of the bed with my short little three or six foot cable. So um, as a little gift for somebody as a new flight attendant, um, extra phone cables and extra phone chargers are handy, as are smartwatch chargers. I bought a couple. I have a um, Galaxy Watch 5, I think. Um, I have three watch charging things, pucks. Um, so I just kind of just drop it on there. Um, I have one in my bag, I have one in my car, and I've got one at the house. I could probably have a couple extras. There's one in my car just in case I realize my, I didn't charge my phone at home and I can charge it on the way to work because I have to have a working watch to operate a flight. So um, I think phone uh, watch chargers are also handy. There are plenty of combination watch, phone, tablet, you know, multi-charging things. That's just a lot to pack and it just adds more volume to my bag. Cables and little pucks or however your, your watch is charged um, are super easy to throw into your lunch bag or wherever. So great little stocking stuffers. You don't need me to list a link on Amazon for one of those. You can find that by yourself. But um bag tags i do not know a flight attendant let me take one off here i don't know a flight attendant who does not love bag tags i mean it becomes a, like a, a problem with like we have i must have six on my bags right now the link i'm going to put below is for something like this now i 
I'm not sure if you can read it there. It says, don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch me. Um, you can, this is the one I'm going to link to you is customizable. So you can put pretty much whatever you want on your bag tag, any color combination. There's tons of them. It's a really great, great thing. I think this one was eight, eight dollars. I don't know if it comes with this loop or not. I forget if I put that on there or not, but um, bag tags are wonderful. You can, you know, fly girl, whatever you want to write on there. These are fantastic. So again, the link I'm going to put below is for one you can get something customized. Um, something I also if uh, would suggest is a, a um, on Facebook, you have to go to Facebook, not Amazon, but there's um, a Facebook page called the Bag Tag Lady. You probably already know about her amazing and don't go crazy because you'll spend your whole paycheck on bag tags um external batteries again something i don't have to put a, a, a photo to i'm going to show you two that i use all the time let me grab them oh, they're, they're right here so i i have two of these uh usually because um i lose one i give one to a passenger till i lend one to a passenger on on the plane i usually get it back um, the cost of being a good guy, but I always have an external charger on me. So these are very, very similar in almost every way. This one's just a larger battery capacity. Um, I love, I think I can put a link for both of these down there, but the, the two of them, you just plug them into the wall, uh, like that. This one actually has the percentage number that shows you how, what percentage the battery is at. Uh, and this one does not, but it's got these four little, four little lights here. Uh, what I love about these is that the cables are part of the, um, unit. And this one comes with, uh, USB, the micro, uh, lightning cable and USB-C. Uh, this one just has two, but I mean, I just find this incredibly useful. Uh, and for a passenger, because I do lend them to, to passengers, they already have the cord here. They don't have to start looking and digging for cords. Uh, some Another reason I like to have an emer a battery is for long layovers. If I'm going to walk around and take a lot of video, I'll have an external battery. Usually this one, either in my pocket or in my um, small shoulder bag. But also, when I have UMs on board, unaccompanied minors, oftentimes they'll use their cell phones the whole time on like a five-hour flight. They don't have enough battery left over to call their mother when they've arrived at their destination. So to be able to have something where I can have the UM charge their device just to make sure that they're good. Uh, and there's always somebody on the plane who's like, do you have any outlets? And we don't. Um, so I always suggest... Um, a um, external battery as a gift or for yourself. The ones I'm going to link here are really, really affordable and um, are nicely sized. They're not little wimpy things. And I just, I just love them. I find them integral to a long layover particularly. Okay. So <clears throat> next, something I don't have in front of me, but is in my car right now because my bag is already heavy. I took my uh, collapsible kettle out of my bag. It's in the back seat of my car right now. But a collapsible water kettle is super handy. If you want to heat up water for coffee, for hot chocolate, for tea, and you don't want to use the, the mystery coffee maker in your room, this is super handy. Um, you can also use it to make noodles or whatever. I haven't cooked anything in it, but I'm sure I could. Like soup, I probably could heat up soup, but cleaning it up would be really gross. But a, a, a collapsible water kettle um, of the right size, which is small, uh, is super handy. So I think I'm going to include a, uh, am I going to include a photo? Probably not because you all know what a collapsible kettle looks like, right? So I'm going to put a link below for the one that I use right now. Um, I forget who sent me one a couple of years ago, but I, I lost the charging cable. Uh, the one I have right now that I'm going to link, I don't think has a detachable cable, so you can't lose it, which is what happened to me. Um, all right, so next, a badge holder. I, again, I'm not going to uh, put a, a photo here. I'll just tell you about it. This is what I use to hold my uh, work ID. This is my work ID here. I'm not going to turn around because that's that's the front of it. Uh, right here, I have my um, KCM badge. I've got my 
license here. I've got my um, a, a car we need to have at work. I've got my um, government license, my, my flight attendant thing there. And inside here, I've got other things that I use all the time. I print out my pairing uh, at the crew room and I keep that here just in case I can't find my work device to find my work schedule so I can sort of see what's going on. And this attaches to my lanyard. Now with my airline, I think you're allowed to have anything that's clear or that's black. Uh, the little plastic sleeve that they give us to put our ID and stuff in, that tears so quickly. I find this to be really incredibly handy. So um, I love this. You can slip a couple dollar bills in there for tips, all sorts of reasons. This is a handy, handy dandy thing. Um, and uh, I was gonna include a little mini I have a mini um, mag light flashlight, which I hang off this as well. That's a super stocking stuffer, so I didn't include that. But a little, a little mini mag light is handy. Uh, what else? What else? All right, so um, a cooler, a lunch bag. You need a lunch bag. You need a good lunch bag. And if you're new and you're not doing turns, you're not a turn queen, you're going to want a bag that's big enough to hold three or four days worth of food and a lot of ice. You're going to want a lunch bag that's really, really well insulated. Now, the one that I use, and you know what I'm going to say, is the Majecto Large Cooler. It is the only lunch bag I will ever use. I should probably buy another one because because I love it so much, they're going to stop making it. Um, it is probably about $58, $60 right now. So it's kind of an investment, but there is no better lunch bag. I don't have it with me, but I do have a video with a comparison with other lunch bags and that Majecto bag. It's the best lunch bag. Everyone thinks they have the best lunch bag. I have the best lunch bag. Um, my ice packs last, I mean, it's crazy how long the food stays cold in this lunch bag. So I am a wholehearted believer in the lunch bag. I will show you a picture of it now, and I'll put a link below in my description box. I lied. Why am I going to make my life difficult and edit all sorts of stuff to put a picture of a lunch bag on here? You know what a lunch bag looks like, right? A cooler, a lunch cooler. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to put a link below. You can see, click on that and you'll see what it looks like. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to put another photo of you'll You'll see what it is by just clicking on the link. Um, so a my lunch bag, Majecto Large. Do not buy the extra large. Do not buy the extra large. It's too big. Don't buy any other Majecto bag. Just the one that I'm showing you. Uh, it is the perfect size. The extra large is too big. It's floppy. You have to put a liner in. It's a mess. And I'll tell you, don't buy that LifeWit lunch bag that everyone has. Ugh, gross. It's horrible. It's horrible. There's nothing redeeming about that bag. It's cheap. That's the only reason people buy it. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Contigo. Contigo. Something. Uh, insulated. Uh, it's a coffee cup or coffee mug. These are amazing. Now, I, you can make a hot coffee, cup of coffee in the hotel room or get coffee in the lobby downstairs, but it's you're in the hotel shuttle and the and there, you know, the shocks on the hotel shuttle are like this. You're trying to drink your coffee, or you get on the plane and the plane's doing this and your coffee spills. These things are invaluable. Oh my god, they will be life changing. You fill that with hot coffee, it is too hot to drink for a long time because it's so well insulated. You could throw it across the room. Don't, but you could. Throw it across the room and it's not going to leak. You have to press a button and it locks. You have to press a button to take a sip. I'll tell you, it's the most amazing insulated cup I've ever had in my life. I probably have five of them, four of which are hiding upstairs on top of my refrigerator right now. But I love these things and they're fantastic gifts for flight attendants or for anybody really. Uh, but I love my Contigo um, insulated little vacuum tumbler. The one thing I will tell you is if you're if you have it full of hot coffee and you are on the plane and you climb up to cruising altitude and you take that first sip, push the button away from your face. You're welcome because there's going to be a little teeny poof of very hot coffee. So just 
press that button once and you only have to do it once when you're when you um climb to cruising altitude because the pressure changes in the in the cabin just press that button once but away from your face <laughs> because poof it's not good um let's see so i'll put a link below i'm not going to bother take putting photos of a coffee mug up on on the screen here it's just unnecessary editing um a hot logic mini all right so I'm happy to share this. I, you probably know what a Hot Logic Mini, Mini is. I'm happy to suggest it. I am unhappy to say that my favorite device, the Sabbath Heat, which I've, I've made a video about as well, is no longer available to my knowledge. And that is heartbreaking to me because uh, I love my Sabbath Heat Mini Oven. It is the best. It has, for me, it's got six different temperature levels. You can have it go on from 30 minutes to 180 minutes. I love it. I think it's better than a Hot Logic Mini, honestly. But you cannot go wrong with a Hot Logic Mini. It is something you can certainly use. I have one, and one day when my Sabbath heat dies, it's gonna one day. I'll go right back to my Hot Logic Mini. So if you are looking to buy a gift for a new flight attendant, especially, this will be life changing for a flight attendant because we rarely have microwaves in the room. Who wants to put clothes on to go downstairs to the lobby or the crew room, which is always like half a mile away. So get your Hot Logic Mini or um, buy it for a gift for somebody else. Um, let's see, um, a travel pillow, I might, I actually might take a photo and uh, post it here. This is a, a travel pillow that I really love. Hold on, this is this is the picture. Future Steven here, I'm editing this video and I'm not gonna insert a photo of that pillow here. Just click on the link below, you'll see what it looks like. Why am I making my life harder? It's Vlogmas, all right, <laughs> I'll see you in a moment. Continue watching. All right, so this is, it's kind of bulky when it's deflated, it's an inflatable um, uh, pillow. So it's kind of bulky, it's probably this big when it's collapsed, but it blows up super easily. And it's kind of like a massage table and it's got that little spot for your face. So your face goes into this little depression. You, put, you can put your arms through the middle of it. You'll see the holes on the side. You can put your arms through it and put your face down on it like this. And if you have a sturdy table uh, on the, the seat back in front of you, it sits on that. Or if you're petite, you can put it on your lap and do this. Um, or if you're sitting in a window seat, you can put it against the fuselage, put your arm through it and rest your head on it like it's a, a boyfriend's shoulder. You know, when you're in the movies and you're cuddling with your boyfriend and you have your head it can be like that too. Uh, and it deflates really easily as well. So it's really, really handy for non-revving or if you're deadheading, it would be super, super handy. Um, and one day I'm gonna make a video about how to use a regular neck pillow properly because no one does. No one knows how to use those damn things. Um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little pro tip. You know that neck pillow, the big foam one that you buy at the airport for $45? You put it on and it's so thick in the back, on top of the cushion in the back, that your head is for, forced forward. The sides, yeah, you can it, it holds your head up, but your face is now hanging right here. Turn it around, turn it around, so the opening is on the back. Close it so it doesn't fall off, and then the bulk of it is under your chin, so you can actually rest your head. And it that's how you use a sleep pillow properly little pro tip. Um, let's see. Uh, next, cutlery set. This is my favorite thing that I own. As a, as a flight attendant, this is like the favorite thing that I own. You have to have one. Or three. Um, I actually have a fourth one at home I can't find. But uh, so this is a cutlery set. Um, that I got there. This is the larger of the two. I'm going to put a link for both in the description box below. This is the one I really like. The other one is slightly shorter, so it might be better for you, but I just love this one, uh, mostly for the aesthetic. Now I bought this one on Amazon, uh, and I'll put a link below. This one I bought at, um, MoMA.com, the Museum of Modern Art. 
museumofmodernart.com. So moma.com. This is where I bought them originally. I bought it in the museum because I thought, oh, that's so cool. Now, if you know anybody who works for Southwest, come on, right? I mean, really. Uh, this color combination is only found at the MoMA store. Uh, and I think they're only on, at the MoMA store, they're $15 for the set, but shipping is almost $8. On Amazon, these sets, in not these colors, but the same set, um, is 20 or something or 22 so I mean I would buy them on Amazon unless you want this color combination then go to moma.com again if you work for Southwest come on if you know some people who work for Southwest come on so why do I love it so much first off it is hard it's like polycarbonate it's very very thick the knife I've been traveling with this set no this set this set for five years six years it's never been taken from me from by pay TSA because I think the scanner must not be able to figure out that it's a knife. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, but it's a serrated knife. And I'll tell you, you could cut an apple with this. It is very, very effective. Uh, I, I've cut through steak. I've cut through lamb shanks. I've cut through chicken breasts like it's a regular knife. Ta -da. Uh, the fork, super comfortable. Uh, the spoon, just in terms of proportion, <laughs> it is a test of your oral abilities. Don't, you went there. Don't go there. I wasn't meaning for you to go there, although that's where I went. Um, but it is, it's a rather large spoon. It's like a, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is like a serving spoon, honestly. But the only time it's not useful is like a little yogurt container because it's like, it's just big. Uh, but a um, few times, yeah, I'm going to stop right there because I was going to make another joke and it wouldn't have been good. Um, so this cutlery set, you have to have. You have to have it. Again, there's a smaller one with a flatter bottom. But even look how it all fits together. Isn't that wild? You just pull this apart and it comes apart. Blah, blah, blah. Um, what else? And that's called the Click uh, cutlery set. And the last thing I have on my list is this bowl, which I find as uh, as necessary as my cutlery set is this bowl by Stojo. You can see I've used it to a large degree. Stojo, there we go, Stojo. Um, it is invaluable, invaluable. Uh, it is a silicone collapsible bowl. There's tons of collapsible bowls in the market, but this one is just, it's the best. Um, it is very, uh, packable. It collapses. It holds 36 ounces, and that is a lot of food. Uh, it is silicone. It is super easy to clean. Uh, I sometimes have um, dishwashing soap in a little travel mouthwash bottle to clean stuff with, or I've used the hotel shampoo. You use what you can. Uh, but um, this thing, I'll tell you, it... It clicks shut, and when it clicks shut, it is pretty much airproof. You can squeeze some air out of there, but it is not going to leak on you anywhere. The lid, the lid is not going anywhere. It's good looking, and uh, I just find it to be incredibly useful. It's the Stojo bowl. Their Stojo cup, which is, I think, how they made their name, I don't like it. I don't like the Stojo cup at all, but some people love it. It's a similar style as this bowl, uh, but it has a little pl hard plastic sleeve that goes over the middle. So you don't, when you pick it up, you don't squeeze it and squish it and all the liquid comes out. I just don't like it. Uh, but uh, if I were to look for a stocking stuffer for someone, I guess it'd be okay. But um, yeah, you have to have this bowl. It feels kind of ridiculous how expensive it is. Um, I bought this on sale at Target for $10 and it was a miracle. Um, but it's like $22, $24 for this one bowl. But it's such a useful bowl. I mean, look, it's so useful. This is a must have in my book. So that is roughly 10 items. 
that I think are incredibly useful. So click some of the links below to get an idea of, and you know, look into the item, look around uh, the uh, the Amazon site and see what you think about it. Uh, again, there are affiliate links, uh, so I do get a, I mean, little. It's not enough to buy it so that you benefit me because it's not that much money. But if you are gonna buy it, there you are. Um, love this. All right. There you go. I hope you have a great day. I hope I haven't bored you. Uh, and I'm sorry if I made an, uh, a too colorful joke about my um, spoon. I will see you guys later. All right. Fly safe. Bye.